setting up the hydro tapper for 4 through 8 inch valve insertion using the manual measuring method. If you do not own an InstaValve 250 alignment gauge kit, you can proceed with valve cartridge installation using the manual measurement method. Refer to Appendix B, Manual Measuring for Valve Cartridge Alignment, in the InstaValve 250 installation instructions. Stand the insertion housing on a flat surface with the O-ring grooved flange facing up. Place the O-ring into the insertion housing O-ring groove. Install the 3 quarter inch nipple and ball valve. Place the hydro tapper on top of the insertion housing with the pointed end of the P3 facing the same direction as the step stand of the housing. Cross tighten with supplied bolts, nuts and washers. Tip and lay the insertion housing and hydro tapper assembly on its stand. The InstaValve 250 valve cartridge consists of a top section and a bottom section. The top section and bottom section must be firmly tightened together. Prior to removing operating nut, hold the base of the valve cartridge and with a pipe wrench or valve key, turn the valve stem firmly in the opening direction. Remove the operating nut and the white Teflon washer from the valve stem and place the end of the insertion tool over the valve stem. Tighten the InstaValve 250 valve gate and insertion tool together by turning the knurled end of the insertion tool clockwise until snug. Tighten the 3 quarter inch insertion tool lock nut located at the base of the knurled handle. Make sure the insertion tool is clean and free of rust or grime. Lubricate the end of the insertion tool with a dab of the food grade lubricant to help it slide freely through the packing nut assembly. Ensure the packing nut assembly clamp lever is loose. Insert the assembled valve cartridge and insertion tool through the insertion housing slash tapping assembly until the top of the valve gate is approximately two and a half inches from the bottom flange of the insertion housing. Make sure the shorter, truncated side of the valve cartridge, marked with a star, is facing upwards. Slide the stop collar over the knurled end of the insertion tool. Align the three slots of the triangle-shaped guide plate with the three guide bars and slide it over the knurled end of the insertion tool. Measure the distance from the center of one of the four set pin caps to the face of the top flange of the temporary gate valve. Record this measurement. Adjust the valve cartridge so the lock pin groove is centered half in and half out of the insertion housing flange. Set the distance from the top of the packing nut assembly to the bottom of the stop collar equal to the measurement recorded in your previous step. In most cases, this measurement will be 7.5 inches for the 4 through 8 inch installation. Confirm the valve cartridge lock pin groove is still centered. Adjust and align the shorter side of the valve cartridge, which is marked with a star between the two highlighted bolt holes on the insertion housing. Make a reference mark on the insertion housing between the two bolt holes as shown. Slide the guide plate to the stop collar and lock the clamp lever. Lubricate the completion plug o-ring with food grade lubricant provided with the equipment. Slide the valve cartridge and insertion tool assembly into the insertion housing until it seats against the top of the insertion housing. Tighten the clamp lever on the packing nut assembly to keep the assembled valve gate and insertion tool in place. After completion of the manual measuring for valve cartridge alignment section, refer to section 8 Install IV250 insertion equipment in the IV250 installation manual to continue the valve insertion procedure. Contact your Hydrostop Regional Sales Manager or Hydrostop Inside Sales if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the 4 through 8 inch InstaValve 250 manual measuring method.